What's up with everybody? It's your man Moyo B. I'm a back with another reaction video. Top 10 worst things Stan Smith has done on American Dad. Hmm. See, I never really watched the show that much. Yeah, we didn't watch it much either. I thought you did watch the show back then. Uh, you haven't? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I maybe saw it here and there, but I didn't really watch it regularly. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to mm -hmm. it. Um, if you want to pick out a next video suggestion to help support the channel, check out the links to our stream labs on the description and our video course. Let's, Let's dive right into it. Number 10. He blinded himself and admitted to only marrying Francine for her looks. Huh. There's no denying that Francine's a beautiful sure, a woman, do that. and Stan is a very lucky man to have married her. She is just beautiful. That's the reason I married her. <laughs> well, it's not the only reason. Yes, it is. Before they renew their vows, Say, however, what? Stan reveals to Francine that her looks are all that <laughs> matter to him. Angered by this, Francine forgoes her daily beauty regime showing how shallow Stan can be. I'm ready to renew our vows. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not one to be deterred. Stan does she what he believes is righteous up. and blinds himself. <laughs> he wants his marriage to work but she did so it on bad, purpose. but openly admits Francine is so disgusting he had no choice but to blind himself. I had my retinas removed. I'm completely blind. <gasps> A toast it's crazy. to us. Jeez, talk about not being able to see beauty on the inside. This was a test to see if you loved me for who I am, and you failed. Number nine, he torments the formerly human Klaus. Stan will do anything for his country, and after the USA Olympic skiing so team fish was used threatened to be a by human. Klaus's talent, the CIA opted to swap the German athlete's brain with that of a fish. Oh. Stan then took the now aquatic German into his home. Oh. Now, a hundred still wants to survive. may not seem too terrible at first, I mean, but yeah. Stan has done nothing but torture Klaus in his own home, ignoring him, silencing him, and even refusing to give Klaus his body back after the whole ordeal. Stan, please put me back in my body! Uh, sounds like a hassle. Not like it had mattered too <laughs> much anyway, it. since, thanks to Stan's incompetence, Klaus's body is useless now. Hey, I need that Klaus Heisler body that came in last week. Oh, sure thing, it's right here. <sighs> Number oh. eight. He evicted his entire neighborhood because they made fun of him. We all have the neighbors that gossip behind our backs, make jokes, and point out our flaws. But for Stan, he just doesn't understand how someone may or may not always like him. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not beloved! <laughs> I'm hated! I'm surrounded by people who hate me! After spying on his neighbors, he finds nothing he does will make them love him. So he does what any regular CIA agent with extreme insecurities would do. Evict everyone in the neighborhood. Oh my god. Honey, good news! The neighbors no longer hate me because they're no longer our neighbors. In other words, there goes the neighborhood. Of course, his own family is no exception, and he's more uh -oh. than willing to do the same to them. We'd hate uh. to see what he would do if they were mean right to his face. What are we gonna do about Dad? He's completely lost it. Shh! If he hears us, he'll send us all to the Cornfield Motel! Number seven, Dang. he became Motel. Steve's tormentor. Steve is not exactly the athletic type, or courageous, or type. outgoing, or oh, popular. No, all that glass in his. So yeah. what's the best method to help build up your nerd son? Why becoming their bully, of course. You're a wimp, uh, and you need a bully to toughen you up. Well, now you got one. Seems me, but give me your lunch. That's right. Steve's own father goes out of his way to be Steve's ultimate bully, in the hopes of turning him into a man. Mm, delish. Want a sip? Oh delish. yes, please. I would love some. Ah! You can't reason with a bully. This boy. Turning him in and out of school. This dude hot coffee in his, fa in his face. In his face. was turning into nothing more than a nightmare for Steve. Who's doing this to you, son? You better not say. Or I'll kill you. It's only through the help of another thug that Stan has taken down a peg. Man. While we don't condone bullying, we think Stan deserves this. You tell me when you feel I've gotten those oranges up the stairs, okay? Number six, he abandoned Francine and Haley to a vengeful Roger. Stan's relationship with his family has always been questionable to say the least, but his devotion truly comes into question during what looks to be their final moments. Stan, can you please just put a jumpsuit on like the rest of us? No can do. Earth Stan is boxers. Space Stan is panties. After a most gone wrong sends their vengeful alien companion Roger out for blood, the Smiths escape to a space station, only to be chased down and hunted in sci-fi thriller style. Steve, behind you! <laughs> when Francine and Haley plead for Stan to help, gross. he turns tail and runs to the nearest escape pod. He displays yeah. zero empathy for what he believes to be their demise, concerned only with his own safety. Jeez. <laughs> Well, I did all I could. Hmm. Number five, oh he gosh. murdered the clones of teenage girls. 
Stan's done plenty of damage to his own children, but to kill Steve's raised clone was taking it a bit far. If the world discovered the CIA was cloning things, they'd shut us down for playing God. You know who else played God? George Burns. And he's dead! After Steve used DNA of a girl to create clones, he raised her from a child into a young woman. And while it was the intent to have intercourse with her, he began to see her in a fatherly light. Didn't think you had it in you, but seriously, sick trim, bro. Stan, however, sees the cloned girls as nothing more than reasons to get him fired by the CIA, and elects to kill the two. Stan! Don't judge me, it was just a clone. While the clones are revealed to have only lasted a brief time, it's pretty sadistic to see Stan kill two young girls who the two boys became attached to. Oh, we just shoot it. Just to be sure. Number four, he ran a sweatshop of illegal immigrants. What? Stan what? doesn't really He's understand crazy. the plight of illegal immigrants, or labor laws, or common decency. What happened to the land or of the free? Decency. These people have a right to be here. People? They're parasites sucking on the rich They're blood of boys. America. And we need that blood to shed for oil. When his dream of holiday-themed bears hitting the store shelves seems out of reach, out comes a ray of hope in the form of Haley's boyfriend, an illegal immigrant who can sew up bears in record time. How'd you like to come work for me? I'll pay you two dollars an hour and all the Mr. Pib you can drink. <laughs> maximum two a day. Not thinking much maximum of them. Two, two a day. Employs the two dollars an hour and two dollars maximum of them. With Pib. little to no time for themselves and wages that would borderline slavery. Ah, oh, the sweet sound of illegals working. Yeah, that's what it pretty much is. Dollar. To make matters worse, Stan sees this as him giving these people a better chance at life, and not as the sweatshop it truly is. Awful. You have a big future here, Paco. In ten years, you could be making five bucks an hour and be up to oh seven pibs a day. Number three, he racially profiles Crazy, his man. neighbors and locks them up. Stan's a racist, plain and simple. Yeah. And it's not exactly well hidden. So, uh, what part of Islam do you hail from? Well, my parents were from Iran, but I was born in Cleveland. Really? You know, we also have a Cleveland here in America, and it'd be just super if you didn't blow it up. When oh Francine invites the new Iranian horrible. neighbors, his ignorance comes out in full blast, frisking them and even refusing to listen to them. Not satisfied until he finds proof, he begins to spy on them. Uh, and when that doesn't work, he locks them up in a self-made detention center in his backyard. I've what? acted horribly to you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, you're well. terrorists! <gasps> of course, you might wonder how all his neighbors would put up with this behavior. Until he locks them in there, too. Stubborn and ignorant to the very end, this is one episode where Stan doesn't even learn his lesson. Huh. Unless somehow they huh. brainwashed me to do their bidding. Good God, I'm the terrorist. Number yeah, two, pretty much. He stole Terrorizing Greg people. and Terry's baby. What? And then he's like, Stan is a yeah, yeah, yeah. extremist nut. And while he has opened up a teensy bit more each season, his mind remains shut tight on many aspects of modernity including a gay couple having children. If two men want to open up to each other and share a love more sweet and exquisite than anything a man and woman could ever find together, then that's their problem. But when they try to bring a child into it, I gotta put my foot down! When Francine carries Greg and <laughs> Terry's child, Stan his foot down. concern only to kidnap the baby immediately after she's born. Don't you worry, little girl. We're gonna find you a real home. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Still in complete gross. denial that two people of the same sex can raise a child baby properly, he even kidnaps it another same-sex like couple's yeah. children to take them to an orphanage, where maybe someday they'll be adopted by a straight couple. You know, we could have turned him into the cops, but that would have just created another Dude, monster. he just kidnapped Obviously, everybody's uh, his kids. Children is, oh, wait, yeah, he did a Adopted terrible kids. job with that, too. Come on, give me a hug. You know you want to. Yeah. Ah, that wasn't campy at all. Before we Stole unveil them. the worst of Stan, here are some dishonorable mentions. So for 35 years you've been killing your mother's dates? Oh, no, I've been abducting them and dumping them on an uncharted island. Merry Wednesday, uh, son. A machine gun? Oh, seems a bit dangerous for me. All of our vacations, the only thing that ever brought this family together have been a big, fat, fake lie? Yes! Number one, hmm. he put Francine in a psychiatric ward just to stall for time. Francine's probably put up with the worst from Stan, from being shot in the arm to repressing any idea she presented that might change their lifestyle. How she stayed married to him for over 20 years is a mystery. Forgetting their anniversary yet again, Stan decides that he would rather commit her to a psychiatric hospital oh and gosh. only then come up with an idea for a present than hear her nag at him again. That's her! Go, go, go! Ah! 
taken type stuff. Beautiful. But he this had her taken. already be horrible yeah. enough if it weren't for the fact that he forgets he left her in there <gasps> and then gives her a bucket of fried chicken as a gift. Happy anniversary! Yeah, we gotta agree with Francine. Look like Gus Chicken from uh, Breaking Bad. Hate the Pollo Stocos. Right, yeah. That was crazy, man. It's too yeah, horrible, he seems, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, he seems like yeah, quite the character. Yeah, like he a piece of work, man. He's really. Some, it's just everything. Like yeah. he's, he's totally like a character that like portraying somebody who only cares about themselves. Yeah, pretty much. That's what like, he is. Even when his family was in danger, he just ran. He didn't yep. try to save them. Yeah. That's crazy. But you better agree in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memory. And Nicole. Gonna catch you on the next video. Awesome. Peace and love,